Hello and welcome to this video on whether central banks stick to the promises made in Jackson Hole. The ECB used to set its policy rates with an eye on its model-based inflation forecasts. But the model simply didn't see the massive increase in inflation. That's why the ECB now wants its interest rate decisions to be based less on its inflation models and more on actual inflation and people's long-term inflation expectations both of which have risen massively. According to the speeches held in Jackson Hole, the ECB wants to bring forward the interest rate hikes that were planned anyway. For example, it does not want to stop raising interest rates immediately once inflation has peaked. So it is arguing against a pause in the interest rate hike cycle, even if the Eurozone should fall into recession. As long as a recession remains an abstract risk from the ECB's perspective, it will focus on high inflation. Therefore, at its meeting on Thursday, a rate hike of 75 basis points is somewhat more likely than of 50 basis points. In October, the ECB is likely to deliver 50 basis points and 25 basis points in December. By the end of the year, the ECB deposit rate would be at 1.5%. At least in the short term, the ECB will walk the talk. But concerning next year, I expect a recession for the Eurozone. That means rising unemployment, rising budget deficits. In this environment, the ECB will not simply continue to raise its policy rates. Next spring, it is likely to suspend the rate hike process for at least a year. Monetary policy thus remains too loose, which is why I expect inflation to remain markedly above 2% for a long time to come.